it's been a pretty uneventful day today. I've just been chilling at home with Maro, um, editing some videos, and I think I'm going to film something for my main channel a little later on, but that's really all I've been doing today. So I thought for today's video you guys could join me uh, while I cook dinner. I'm going to cook dinner at home today. It's been a while since I've done that, so I'm just off to the grocery store to get some ingredients, but because it's been really, really cold these past few days, I think I'm going to make like a hot pot for dinner. It's called nabe in Japanese and it's one of my favorite winter dishes just because it's so easy to make and it's really yummy and you can put lots of vegetables in it so it's pretty good for you. So yeah, I'm gonna run to the grocery store and get some ingredients and I will be back to share those with you guys. I am back. I got all my ingredients for nabe. I decided to go with the kimchi one. It's probably one of my favorites really really yummy it's not super spicy it's a pretty subtle spice well I guess around medium medium level spiciness so it's nice they had really nice looking shiitake mushrooms so I got some of those I love shiitake mushrooms so much and this is the tofu that I always put in it it's yaki tofu so it's grilled um, I find that it stays together a little better than some of the other kinds of tofu so it's good for nabe This is like a staple nabe ingredient. It's called haksai. It's a type of cabbage. It's pretty delicious. This is like a 1-8 slice, I guess. Um, the actual, like if you get a whole cabbage itself, it's huge. And I can't eat it all myself. So I really like how they split it into small packages. So that it's just enough for one nabe. And I got a carrot. And those are all my nabe ingredients, I think. Oh, and a negi. Negi is also a staple <laughs> nabe ingredient. This was like 69 yen. Again, it's really big and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of it. I'll have to think of something else to cook for dinner tomorrow that uses negi because there's gonna be a lot of this leftover. Um, yeah, that's it nabe wise. And then I got some tonyu uh, soy milk and English muffins so that I can try my Reese's spread. I don't know how that will work on English muffins, but I decided to go with those instead of bread. I like eating these with peanut butter, so it should work, I think. And it's Mikan season. I love Mikan so much. Um, so you can find these at all the grocery stores now. This costs about uh, 380 yen, so I guess about three dollars for a pack of them, and they're so yummy and good for you, so I'm always eating those, and I got some bananas. Bananas are one of the fruits in Japan that are actually really cheap, so I'm often buying bananas. Alright guys, so it's time to cook. I will clean out my kitchen because I haven't done the dishes like usual, and then we can get started. Okay, so I start off by pouring the nabe soup into the fry pan. You're supposed to make this in like a special nabe pot. I'll show you a picture of one here. Um, but I have this weird like electrical burner thing and I don't think I can use one on this so I just use a fry pan. And then you just cut up all the vegetables. It's seriously the easiest food to make ever. And you can put whatever you want in it. I just put my favorite vegetables and some tofu in but you guys can put in meat or um, some ramen noodles or some udon noodles or something. Basically anything tastes good in here. <laughs> it's really fun to make. So once I've got everything cut up, I like to put in all the vegetables except for the cabbage and I cook those for about 10 minutes or so first because they take a lot longer than the cabbage. And then once they're almost all cooked, then I'll put the cabbage on top and cook it for another, I'd say about 10 minutes. Well, 
while I'm waiting for dinner to cook, I'm going to open this letter that I completely missed the last time I opened my fan mail, so I'm sorry about that. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I would just like to say that I'm amazed by the cute stationery you guys find. I thought that Japan had the cutest stuff, but you guys always send me the cutest stationery, and I love it. Okay, so Madison wanted to know if I have any recommendations for stuff for learning Japanese and honestly, I've never really used textbooks to learn Japanese in school. They always just like printed out um, like separate pages for us that they had copied out of other books, but I've heard that the Genki series is really nice. So maybe if you don't already have those, try those. And other than that, I made a video about um, the ways that I learn Japanese. It's not really your typical textbook kind of stuff, but hopefully that will be helpful for you. I'll link that um, in this video right here, so go check that out. Thank you so much for the letter, Madison. Okay, she included these adorable little origami uh, folded thingies. <laughs> I don't know what to call them, but like they're Taurus, because I'm Taurus. Oh, those are so cute. I hope Mara doesn't eat them. Tomorrow's in hyper mode. He's getting excited for dinner. <laughs> Even though he's not getting any. Tomorrow, come here. He loves this pink. <laughs> this is his favorite toy. Be careful. Okay. He'll hiss at it sometimes. It's really weird. I don't know why. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. And then I just eat this with a bowl of rice and it's so warm and filling and I love it. All right guys, that is it for today. I'm just gonna go do some more editing. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the Monster Cafe in Harajuku in the morning. It looks really colorful and pretty. So I'm looking forward to that. And then in the afternoon, I've got plans to go out for sushi with my friend. So I got a busy day tomorrow and I'm gonna vlog all of that. So I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, bye.